New Zealand's air pollution is killing people. That's a hard fact to swallow, but it's one Canterbury Medical Officer of Health, Dr Alistair Humphrey, says people need to be aware of. Up to a thousand people a year in New Zealand die because of poor quality air. That's the latest happen study. That you However, in Christchurch, there are many poor quality homes and the owners can't afford to install clean heat devices like heat pumps. And their only source of heat often is a wood burner. So we have to work very carefully to make sure that we don't trade off good quality air for cold homes. We want our homes to be warm because cold homes, of course, affect your health as well. Despite popular belief, it's not the elderly who rely on dirty wood burners. In fact, they prefer other forms of heat, as it's quite hard work lifting the wood. Christchurch has many well-off residents who have log fires. These are the people who just like a log fire, you know, they like that, they like the idea of it. Actually, in a city, a city is the wrong place for a log fire, because it actually kills people. Environment Canterbury's strict rules within its air plan aim to reduce air pollution and to bring the number of pollution-related deaths down. Those tiny, tiny particles get into your lungs, they go down very deeply and they can give you respiratory illness. Even if they don't die, many people are ending up in hospital because of the polluted air coming from smoky wood burners. Well, anybody who has an existing respiratory problem like asthma or chronic obstructive airways disease, during those days when there is heavy pollution, they are much more likely to have an exacerbation of their problem, so they're more likely to end up in hospital. It gets even worse. Small particles can actually trigger uh, respiratory problems in some people, so they actually cause some people to actually get sick who would not normally be sick. The CDHB has measures in place to subsidise clean heat options and to help install insulation. Together, these two options should help bring the cost of heating homes down. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.